okay, so, so, uh, so today I get an email from my brothers going, hey man, you gotta, gotta make that guacamole of yours. Uh, so I said, yeah, yeah, you're right. I said, that's a quick little thing. So I'm gonna make a quick little guacamole video. First, first things first, I'm gonna top off my, top off my glass. That's a fucking, that's a sad sight, huh? You had a drinking problem. Yeah, well, yeah, now I do. It's, <laughs> it's empty. All right, guys, all right, we started the other day. We did some funny little shit with the onion and whatnot. The onion, I got a little fucking story for you. I went to the store to buy a shit for the guacamole. Of course, when I come home, everything's in the bag but the fucking onion. And the onion's very important. important so, uh, basically... We're going to do, you know, what I showed you the other day, that the magic dice fucking onion trick. Basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to hack across it. See, here's the, here's the ends here. This, this I'm just going to set aside for right now because I need a certain amount of onion. Basically, uh, you know, peel the end off. Get rid of that, okay? Do a little... We might need a tripod for this. Might need a tripod. My eyes are gonna start watering. <laughs> I'm going a little quick. Don't chop your fucking fingers off. I mean, I, I do this every day, so. You basically, you know, I like to start with the onions and the, and the, and the hard, the hard stuff. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the guacamole, I'm gonna do the avocados last. I don't like to I don't like to pulverize the things too much. Ooh. Ooh, what? Oh, 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 see that? Did you see that? There was like a little see, uh, There's that crazy dice again. Okay. So so we got this amount of onion. It's probably about a cup of onion. And it might you might think, oh man, it's man, that's a lot of onion. It's not really a lot of onion because because I'm gonna do like um, wow. Fucking eyes of water. One thing could take care of that. A little wine. Actually, you know what's funny? My Uncle Jimmy, or my mom's Uncle Jimmy, my great Uncle Jimmy, who was a phenomenal cook, by the way. The peppers. Mm. Yeah. Uh, stuffed olives, the, the, the hot peppers, uh, insane. But um, he used to say, put like a piece of bread or a cracker in your mouth, and it, it kind of blocks... It blocks the uh, probably absorbs. Uh, well, it blocks the the, the, the fumes of the, the you know that that the onions send up and make you cry. Of course, I you know I stick a piece of bread in my mouth. I just fucking eat it. So <laughs> that's all last. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this. Remember this thing. I'm gonna put this in the official guacamole bowl. It, it's, it also doubles as the official egg salad bowl. From time to time, but uh, it's it's perfect for for what we're doing here. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the onions in there. All right, and I'm also gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this. There's a lime here. I'm gonna I'm gonna need some lime juice, and I'm not gonna use that squeezy thing that you guys do. Basically, guys, you kind of roll the lime a little bit like this. And basically, it just kind of, you know, releases the juices inside. You know, like a, like a, like a guy's going to kick a field goal. Just punch it down. <laughs> let's set that aside. I'm going to need it in a little bit. Guys, let's move on to my favorite part. You know, you know what I'm talking about here. <sighs> Guys, look. Oh, the dreaded, the coring of the tomato. <laughs> I'm going to show you how this thing works, okay? The coring of the tomato. All right. Basically, guys, the little spiky things on the end there. Real quick, like this. Oh! Look, see this nasty thing? Gone. It's in the fucking, it's in the sinkerator. See that? Now I don't have to eat that nasty-ass shit on the end of the fucking tomato. Real quick, guys, look. Go like that, go like that, boom, done. 
It's over with. The core your, listen. Core your fucking tomatoes, really. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fucking dice these up. We're gonna put them in the bowl. I'll show you how I do that. These are these are Roma tomatoes, by the way. The the bigger, you know, your regular like, you know, beef steak or, or tomatoes on the vine or I don't know where the fuck you're at, Jersey tomatoes. They're gonna have a lot of lot of like liquid, a lot of seeds and shit. These these are these are more like your, your spaghetti sauce tomatoes, shit you would jar. There's not a lot of juice in them. And I I you know, I don't want soggy wet soppy fucking guacamole so i i use the roma tomatoes when i make the guacamole that's just my thing you guys want soggy seedy shit that, that's that's on you but basically i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna do slices like this okay i want them kind of you know kind of chunky all right i'm gonna do that then i kind of you know i'll stack them up a little bit you know, stack them, make a couple, make a couple uh, slices across the way, like that, boom, 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 okay, scoop it up. Well, tomatoes aren't layered, so. Well, tomatoes aren't layered, no, you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta layer them, look, see, I'm layering the fucking things. I'm even gonna layer this fucking holy thing, no, you know what, what I'm gonna do with that, I'm just gonna chop it up. Like that. We'll get rid of it. Oh, you'll never even notice the fucking thing had a core in it, okay? Like that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Real, this is real simple shit, guys. Don't buy it. Let me tell you something. Don't buy that green, mushy shit that, you know, you find in the supermarket. Listen, I grew up in Bristol. I gotta, I gotta tell you, Bristol, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, right outside there, on the Delaware River. I never knew what the fuck an avocado was. They don't, they don't offer that at Pat Steaks. <laughs> they don't go, hey, give me a cheesesteak with avocado. They, it don't happen. I don't know what the fuck. We don't have any avocado trees growing, in, you know, in Bristol. This is the crazy. This is the avocado. Okay, I got a funny, I got a funny story about it because you know as you I don't know some of you know I, I moved away from home moved moved away from Bristol when I was 18 years old and uh, I moved to Hollywood and in the building I moved to was on Sycamore and Hollywood Boulevard came out here to go to school to do drumming and shit so basically there was this crazy fucking tree next to our pool and it actually kind of touched the building next door and this, this kid, God, I can't remember his name right now, but he was this amazing flamenco guitar player kid. And he came from up north in California. And he yells down at me, he goes, Steve, you got to come over here, man. He goes, I'm going to make guacamole. <laughs> I was looking, I was talking to my buddy, I looked at I go, what? You're going to make, what the fuck is guacamole? I never heard of guacamole. I don't know what the fuck guacamole was. He goes, I make the best guacamole ever. Watch. He reaches out his kitchen window and starts pulling these fucking weird looking things. I didn't know what they were. I just, I saw them on the tree, but we had this insane avocado tree in the courtyard. And he starts yanking them through the window and I go, what the fuck is that? So I walk over with Chuck, my buddy Chuck, and we and we we sit down, and and the kid goes, check this out, and he and he starts cutting this thing open. It's fucking. Look, I'm I'm gonna cut one open for you real quick. I'm gonna show you. So he cuts the thing open. Okay, it goes like this. So there's a there's a huge seed in here. You basically. Okay. He cut that thing open. I go, what the fuck is that? I'm not eating. That's green and weird. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not fucking eating that. This pit, it's real easy, guys. Come in here. I want to show you something. You don't, you don't want to, you know, don't go crazy. You don't want to cut yourself. But you got a sharp knife, okay? You just tap on it, and the seed comes out. Because if not, you'll be, you'll be fucking digging in there with your hand. That fucking thing will never, <laughs> it'll never come out. So just basically... 
Tap your knife real, real easy. Don't fucking go through it. You're gonna cut your hand with, you know, with a sharp knife. I basically just, you know, kind of tap it off the knife like that. Just, I just tap it off and it's, and it's done. Okay. You set it aside. Whatever. It's, it is what it is. Okay. So basically, right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shut this for one second. I'm gonna show you something else. Yeah. Okay. The jalapeno. The jalapeno, very, 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 very important. Okay, I had a, I had a guy in the in the warehouse where I work. He told me he goes, listen, if you want the really hot ones, you got to look for these little brown hairs in there. He called them hairs, and it's just fucking to me, it's a fucking defect. But anyway, he's right. I mean, when you get those beautiful, smooth jalapenos. You know, they don't really have the, the heat. For some reason, hey, listen, I'm not going to argue with a Mexican guy. <laughs> the guy knows his jalapenos. So, all right, so basically, I'm going to use I'm gonna use this whole fucking thing because me and my wife, we're a little, little crazy. We like the spice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this, okay? Done. That's gone. Okay. I'm going to take one side out. You know, with the seeds like that. Okay, one side out the seeds. All right, I'm gonna leave all those. I'm gonna leave that those hairs in there like that. I dice it up pretty small, okay? Because you know, you know, a big chunk. If you're not used to it, a big chunk of jalapeno, it will light your ass up. There ain't no doubt about that. I'm used to. I eat these fucking things. I eat these things at the movies like they're fucking M&M's. It's no, no big deal now. I used to fucking, used to be afraid of them. Okay. Guys, stack them up. You slice them long ways like that. See? Little, 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 little. Because once I get smashing with those, with those avocados, you're going to get a little bit of jalapeno on every bite. It's like a Chips Ahoy. <laughs> It's like a Chips Ahoy, only this will burn your asshole. <laughs> All right, into the fucking bowl, okay? Into the official avocado bowl. All right, so there you go. You got, you got your onions, onions. You got your tomatoes. It's like an Italian flag. It's, so far, it's like an Italian flag. Well, actually, it's kind of like a Mexican flag. Mexican flag is, uh, is like that too, right? They probably got some stupid fucking logo, like a pinata or something. You know? Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of this. We're not gonna take a break. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna show you. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, at this point, with these veggies, I'm gonna pull it over here real, real quick. I'm gonna grab some salt. I'm gonna salt them, guys, because that's gonna bring out, that's gonna bring out a lot of, uh, I don't know how much salt that is. I'm gonna assume, I don't know, let's just say a quarter teaspoon if you wanna get crazy, okay? I'm going to mix up, here. I'm going to show you the, basically the ratio of tomatoes to jalapeno, okay? That's one big, that jalapeno was a good, it was a good size jalapeno. I used about a quarter of the onion and, and two Roma tomatoes just because, you know what, I love fucking it tomatoes. It smells excellent. It smells good already, right? I didn't even fuck with it yet. I'm, and this is, let me tell you, look at me. Guys. There ain't a Mexican within a hundred miles of here to make a fucking guacamole like me, believe me. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna let that sit. And basically that salt is gonna kinda, it's gonna pull some juice out. It's gonna pull some juices out and, and uh, the tomatoes and it's gonna marry all this shit up. We're gonna let that sit there for a second. I'm gonna work on these, uh, I'm gonna work on these avocados, okay? So we got one done. And basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna slice into it, okay? Make sure, guys, you know, easy. Don't go fucking crazy. This thing's soft. Okay? It's also beautiful. Look how fucking, look how green that is. That's beautiful. All right. I'm going to make a slice down. I'm going to make a slice across like this. I'm basically making little, little squares. Okay? You see how that, I'm, I'm going to try and open it up for you. See how that, see how I did that? I went down and across. That's it. So now, take a spoon, guys, stick it in, I call it the ass end, the fat end, stick it in there like this, and you basically just rock it back and forth, okay, 
Boom. See that? Look. All right. Now, we're not even going to fuck with the avocado yet. We're just going to, you know. All right, guys. So, here we go. Once again, down long ways. Down long ways, down long ways. And it's, you know, there's no fucking, you don't have to be perfect. Right across, right across, right across, right across, done. Okay? See how that is? All right? You make little little squares, okay? You're going to take the, the spoon in the ass end of it. So barbaric. It's barbaric. Yeah, well, listen, I got a... I got some, like, you know, I don't know, maybe you fucking bought it for me. You gave me some, like, crazy avocado slicing fucking thing. The thing, it, it's, listen to me. It's more fucking true. By the time I get it out, and then I gotta wash it, just fucking, just do what I'm doing. And you never know. This is like, a, it's like Christmas. You never know. When you twist this thing and open it up, you don't know if the thing's gonna be beautiful and green. We're fucking brown and bruised in the nightmare. I like to shove it up the market's ass because these things aren't fucking cheap. All right, ready? Let's do it. Ready? It's Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, man. Wow, that's a nice one. Yeah, we lucked out. Okay. All right, so once it's again. It's like finding a pearl in an it's like It's like finding a pearl. It is like finding a pearl. All right, real quick. Once again. All right. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm a little bit of a wacko. You know, there's a there was a connection to a stem, a tree one time. Okay. So down, 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 down. Okay, across. Guys, there's no, there's no real rule to this. Ass end. Rock the spoon back and forth. Nice work. All right. Once again, ready? Into the seed. Quick twist. Okay, don't. Don't go fucking nuts with the knife. You're going to cut your fucking <laughs> fingers off, all right? Just don't do that, okay? I don't want to be fucking responsible for you cutting your fingers off. All right, down, 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 down. Crossed. Okay. Ass end. Ass end. Boom. Boom. Look. Look at that. It's fucking... <laughs> Come on. Ambrosia. Tell me I wasn't Mexican. Tell me I wasn't Mexican in another life. Okay. I think we're back, guys. I think we're back. All right, I'm going to get a drink, and because uh, that's what I do. Mm. I, got all the, I got all the avocado in here, okay? As you can see, pretty damn fucking beautiful, if I may say so myself. All right? I'm going to do a little salting of the avocado, because you got to do this in layers, guys. I mean, every time, I'm a firm believer, a little bit of salt every time you, 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 uh, you, know, you, you, you put a layer of, of flavor in there, okay? The other thing you're going to need, and this is, you know, it's crazy, because people, people tell, oh, I fucking hate that stuff. It tastes like dirt, okay? <clears throat> I already washed it, okay? I already washed it. I'm, I'm drying it off. The dreaded cilantro. Guys, you're a fucking idiot. If you don't like cilantro, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're a fucking idiot. It's beautiful, okay? I'm going to leave this aside for a second. I'll show you why in a minute. Because I'm going to kind of decorate later on, okay? All right, listen. I lo Look at me. Cilantro, it doesn't fucking taste like dirt. It's really fucking good. It's mushrooms like, taste like dirt. Mushrooms taste like dirt. Cilantro is kind of a, uh, it's kind of a Mexican parsley. But it's got a little kick to it. It's got a little bite to it. You absolutely cannot make guacamole without cilantro. So, guys, if you don't like cilantro, don't f go buy that mushy shit that they, I don't in know what they, I don't even know what they do in the, yeah in the tub I don't know what they do to that it's not an avocado I think it's like some green oil they whipped up and then they threw it in the thing and you fucking people buy it with it's I don't know slime. it's crazy it's like pink slime like the burger shit guys take your fucking take your cilantro I like a lot of it I like a lot of it in there what I do is I, I just kind of you can't roll this up like basil so I just kind of 
mash it all into a fucking a ball like this. And then I come across it. Okay, you gotta you gotta take a break, you gotta you gotta watch your fingers, you know. Just wash the shit good. Wash the wash the cilantro good, rinse it out, okay? Come across it again. Okay? Like that. Boom. Boom. Okay. Trust me when I tell you. Cilantro, it's good stuff. I I, I put it in there. I love it. It's it's a fucking it's a definite It's easy it's, to kill. It's easy to kill. It, it don't run fast, that's for sure. It does it does not run fast. Okay. Guys, the lime. Remember the lime? Alright. Juice it up a little bit like this. It's like smashing garlic. Right. Yeah, it's like smashing garlic. Well you you gotta listen, I got big I got big paws. What do you call it? Hoofs? <laughs> paws. Paws? <laughs> Alright. I got big paws, guys. Just smash, smash your fucking thing down. You don't want to go nuts. But, no, right now, what I'm doing is I'm releasing the juices. Releasing the juices inside this fucking lime, okay? So, basically, I'm going to cut it in half. Like this, okay? Bring the bowl over here. And I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze the shit out of it. <laughs> It don't matter if you get chunks of lime in there or nothing like that. It's good. That's that's beautiful. But use, listen, guys, look at me. Don't use that that shit. I mean, you know, you got those little plastic lime fucking things. Use, <laughs> come on, 59 cents. They have sugar in them, by the way. Yeah, and they have sugar in them. You're right. See, my wife's, I, I knew she, I kept her around. Besides holding the camera, I knew she was here for something. <laughs> use a fresh fucking lime, guys. It's... Use the whole fucking line too. It's not gonna hurt you, okay? Use the because it really does marry up all the flavor. Look, Look at all that. that juice. Look at yeah, that juice. Nice. Listen, if you didn't roll it, if you didn't roll it like I did, you'd be fucking squeezing till your fucking heart exploded. <laughs> Or, right. you, or you need a utensil. You need a utensil. You need one of those. It's gonna take up room in the cabinet. Yeah. One more. F listen. It's one more fucking thing you gotta you gotta throw in the dishwasher. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. I'm gonna wow, what funny. I do now. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna salt this again. Okay, real quick. A little bit of salt. Not a lot. Not a lot. A little salt. Okay. This brings the flavor I'm out. I'm also gonna put put a little little fresh fresh cracked pepper in there. Okay. Oh, this is another thing you gotta you gotta you gotta realize guys you're gonna need a little hot sauce I you know I'm not doing a fucking commercial here but we as you can see we go through a lot of this I love this fucking Cholula shit you're gonna need a little bit of hot sauce in it you do that to taste and I you know like I said we it's a personal thing it's a personal thing this is really good okay the flavor of it and it's not that hot really it's just really, I also really good. like this guy, remember, maybe you've seen him on TV once or twice, I don't know. <laughs> you know, he's got a little uh, essence bullshit. But, um, bam. you know what? Bam. Yeah, bam it up a little bit. You know, a little bit of that is also good in there. It's a really, 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 really good thing. Guys, I, I take basically what I do. I don't like to macerate this shit to death. But I will go through it with the two spoons, okay? Like this couple times, kind of toss it up like a salad. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Overboard. Somebody went overboard. Mm, oh yeah. Yeah. Guys, this is this is gonna be nuts. I just kind of keep, you know. Guys, this ain't, listen, look, already, already, that ain't that shit, that mashed up shit you get in the tub over there. Believe me, this is way, 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 way better, okay? I'm, I'm going to do a couple more, couple more passes, and then, and then we're going to, we're going to do a quick taste test to check the seasonings, okay? One second, I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I should be drinking fucking beer, but you know what? 
I actually got blue. Cerveza. Cerveza. I should be drinking cerveza. Okay, guys. This now is coming to the... Look, I mean, every fucking... Let me, let me show you something. We got a, I got a chip over here. I, I prefer these blue chips. They got no salt. But they're, you know, they're organic. And, all, you know, we're kind of wacko. But listen to me. Look at that. I mean, you got everything that I put in there on that chip. How is it? Let's see. <laughs> Guys. I would eat that out of a homeless man's ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Stay right there. I'm going to I'm going to the reaction from my wife. Okay? I'm going to give her a little bite cuz I always overfeed her, she says, right? What do you think? I don't even know if I got to adjust the spices. I might have fucking nailed that. You did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So guys, all right, ready? I nailed it. I'm not really gonna fuck with it anymore. But for aesthetics, say you're, you're having a little party. I mean, I made kind of a mess of the bowl. Are you gonna put it in a blender, baby? I'm not gonna put it in a blender. Do, <laughs> do not do that. For aesthetics only. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little, little shake, a little color on top. Then, guys, I'm gonna do this. Look. A little Ooh. fucking. Nice. Right, little, little leaf there. We'll leave there. All right, guys, I'm telling you right now. Look at that, look at that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it. Guys, little lime on top, just so it don't get fucking brown in the fridge. And listen, if you're gonna, look at me, if you're gonna store this shit, you're not gonna eat it right away, don't make it. Because you, you need to eat this fresh. This stuff will turn brown. If you have to store it, for any reason whatsoever, get some plastic wrap, push it down onto the actual guacamole, and that's it, okay? Listen, guys, fuck, fuck you guys. I'm going to eat this fucking guacamole right now. I'm going to drink some wine. Peace. Thanks for watching. We'll be back. Cheers. Mm. Homeless man's ass crack. <laughs>